No, the title is not clickbait. In this video, I'm gonna tell all of you how Misgif killed my YouTube channel, how he also helped it, and how I plan to bring it back with the weirdest call to action you have ever found on YouTube. So be sure to stay until the end of the video. So let's start with the title. Miss Gif killed my YouTube channel. I've been making videos since the beginning of last year. I improved on video quality, on editing, thumbnails, titles. Then I lucked out. We had the idea to do an impression video of uh, Ludwig. And then we thought, well, why stop there? I do impressions all the time. Why don't I do impressions of everybody's favorite streamers? And those creators liked those videos so much that they reacted to them on stream. Turns out everyone else liked them too. And I got to gain a little bit of a subscriber growth from each time somebody would watch them. But people think that that's a cheat code, that once you get a streamer to watch your video on stream, you automatically then become big and well-known. And that's just not true. I'm gonna show you a graph in a little bit of the days that different people reacted to my videos and the subscriber growth that came with it. And then we'll get to the problem. Here is my subscriber growth over the last 365 days. You can see that early videos, barely anything. Then you'll notice a, a little jump here. So let's see what was significant about November 21st. This video correlates with a growth in subscribers, but not that many. In fact, one of the top five most popular clips on his clips channel is him reacting to my video. And that clip was posted on November 21st with over 2 million views. And those views got me a little bit of a boost. You can see that I got, uh, what is this? 325 from the watch page. It's probably about a 500 subscriber growth there. The next day, probably around the same. Then it kind of teeters off. There's little bits of growth in between as those subscribers maybe get acclimated, my videos start getting recommended to people. I also did the Hassan video somewhere in here. It didn't result in a huge growth as you can see, but still, according to Social Blade, between when I released the Ludwig video and he reacted to it and that went live, I grew like a thousand to 2000 subscribers. But the elephant in the room, what is this big peak here? It was the day that I released the every OTK stream ever video and SFAND, Mizgif, and Emiru all reacted on the same day. These are some of the most viewed clips on my channel. I decided to to post the clips of people reacting to my channel to get some of those views, to hopefully get some of those subscribers. And you can see that because of that, I did get some growth continuing on. From my analysis, you can tell a growth is natural when the blue line is above the green line here. That is that your subscribes are coming from the YouTube watch page. That is people that watch your videos and subscribe directly from that page uh, versus the green line, which is people that subscribe from your channel. I don't know if you guys are a normal YouTube user, but when I subscribe to somebody, I typically do it right from a video that I watched that I think is good, or maybe I watch a couple and then I subscribe from that page. I rarely click on someone's profile and subscribe. The reason that the green bar is above the blue bar in this case is because ooh, something a little unnatural happened. And this is where Miss Gif killed my channel. Here is the VOD from that day. Let's watch. A lot of you guys ask or like try to make videos and they're not good. Straight up, they're not good because you guys don't think of creativity and you know, you're not willing to go extra fucking mile. This guy goes the extra fucking mile. That took days of work. It did days take days of, of work. work. It's very sweet Thinking, of him to say this, but something funny. happens. So this guy deserves that sub. He deserves the praise he's getting. He deserves that the 82,000 views he's getting. Does that make sense? And then he did this. He got 200 subs. We can chat, we can do better. So he spammed it and he told everybody to go sub. And this continues on for a little bit. All right, chat, everyone spam it. Go like his stuff. Let's get on the 7K. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. Be on the 7K. Let's fucking go, chat. So he got me to 7K and he continues to push my content then for a couple more minutes. And you can see from the line that he did more than just get me to 7K. Right there, I had a growth of that's, I think, slightly over 3,000 subs. The next day, it was between one and 2,000. Same with the next day. But those could be from the React clips. Those could, I'm not gonna say those are directly from him. Social Blade shows that between January 31st, so six days before I released the video, and the following following week, I grew from 5,500 subs to 12,600 subs. I continued to grow over the next couple of months, whether it's from people reacting to those videos or from watching other videos of mine, streamers reacting to those. I did a fashion review of the streamer awards. It blew my mind, but that one did really well and people reacted to those, so I was very fortunate. But you see, the issue is now most of my subscribers come from two things. One, streamers reacting to my videos. People love to watch streamers watch me. And 
And two, a large chunk of it comes just from Mizgif plugging my videos. Now here's the issue. A lot of those Mizgif frogs will only watch videos that Mizgif is in. A good portion also only watch my impression videos or my react videos. This results in my video's initial CTR, which is click through rate getting tanked from the jump. I can tell when a video is going to do well based on if I click bait it with Mizgif or another streamer. But even the ones where I try and click bait Ludwig or other streamers that I've interacted with, they don't do nearly as well as when I do Mizgif in the thumbnail or OTK in the thumbnail. So Mizgif killed my channel, but he also kind of made me. And here's where the call to action comes in. First, I would like to say that I'm extremely thankful for streamers that have plugged my stuff, for streamers that have watched my videos and that have asked people to subscribe. When somebody likes your videos and they naturally come over from that stream or they were watching it with the streamer and they subscribe, they typically watch other videos. I was able to get natural growth after the Ludwig and the Hassan videos. However, the unnatural plug there, the let's make this number go higher did dramatically impact my CTR. So thank you so much for putting me in the limelight and putting me in front of so many people. This is not going to be me shitting on Misgif and saying that Misgif needed to have done something different. It was extremely kind of him and I am forever, forever grateful. However, to all of you watching this right now who subscribed just because your favorite streamer told you to and you haven't watched any of my other videos or you haven't been to a stream, I am going to do something that no YouTuber has done before. I am going to ask you to like and unsubscribe. You see, I've learned a lot over the last two years of making videos and I'm going to continue to make more videos. I started streaming back in December. If that's something that interests you, feel free to come over to my Twitch. I'm going to be live right after you watch this video. But one of the things that I've learned is that there is no shortcut. If a streamer shouts you out, puts your page up in front of everybody and says, make this number go higher, that's not guaranteed that people are going to watch your videos. I've seen that Mizgif frogs just want to watch Mizgif videos. I've seen that people that are here from the reactions just want to watch me do impressions so that their favorite streamer can react. The next impression video is going to come for probably a few more months. People in my community know that I want to be the SNL of creators. I want to do a bunch of different skits. I want to do a bunch of different goofs and gaffes. So if any of that interests you, please, again, watch my other videos, come by the stream. But to everybody else who doesn't want to be a part of this community, please unsubscribe. I do not hold it to you. I put out a community post just a couple weeks ago asking people that don't watch my videos to unsubscribe, and I watched the next week's video perform better. I didn't have to clickbait any streamers. It was an original idea, but my CTR was positively impacted from just that little jump of like, I lost 200 subs. I gained that back doing other things. I know it's weird. I know you've never been asked to do this. So if you're looking for a way out, here it is, unsubscribed. I expect my number to go lower by the end of this. But if this video piqued your interest, you like my other content, or you didn't even know I made other content because the algorithm never recommended them to you because they got tanked from the beginning, welcome. Please stay. I really enjoy having you be a part of my community. Let me know who you are in the comments down below. I want to thank each of you individually. I probably can't, but I'd like to. And get ready for an awesome year. There's a lot of cool things I have planned. Like for instance, we have a charity stream coming up on July 23rd from 12 p.m. Central Time to 12 a.m. Central Time. We are going to be doing a charity stream for Rise Above the Disorder. A lot of your favorite streamers are going to be there as well as me doing some awesome content. So please stop by and if you enjoy, leave a follow or subscribe, a comment or a like. But let this be a lesson to not subscribe to any creator unless you want to, unless you're invested in them and unless you think that they're entertaining because at the end of the day, you could be hurting somebody from growing. Again, thank you so much to everybody that's been with me so far and thank you to so many people that are gonna be with me after this. Goodbye to everybody that's leaving. If you've watched this far, I appreciate it. I guarantee I will see you soon because we have some awesome content on the horizon. That being said, as always, I still don't know how to end the video, so I guess just peace.